LGS, innovation is in our DNA. From the first binary digital computer to the development of the laser, from Unix to the first demonstrated use of cellular technology, you've heard of the groundbreaking inventions that have shaped LGS's history. We foster a culture of innovation and maintain strong ties to our Bell Lab's legacy of inventive development. Bell Laboratories was responsible for creating the communications infrastructure for an entire country and, and literally the entire world. We were able to create technologies that never existed before and to drive entire industries. What our customers really like about us is we still retain that heritage and that sense of dedication and, and ethic to work and the quality of solutions that we put out. We don't just stitch together you know, some components that, that might work. We put components together that do work and we bring the legacy that we learned as we built out the national infrastructure, communications infrastructures, to those types of solutions. Our mission critical product offerings, R&D, and supporting services create an information advantage for our customers in C4 ISR, cyberspace operations, and network assurance. And our value extends beyond these offerings. With more than 400 patents in our portfolio, our intellectual curiosity keeps us on the cutting edge of technology and leverages our 75-year history to forge unique solutions to some of the most complex challenges facing our warfighters, the intelligence community, and commercial clients. So our customers bring us some of the most challenging and difficult, sometimes really interesting and fun problems to work on. I'll give you a couple of examples. The first was a study. It was being done by the National Guard. They had recently acquired a campus in Indiana that used to be a mental hospital. And there was a hospital building and all the administrative buildings and they were trying to convert this campus into a mock um, international city that they could use to train soldiers on um, learning the local language, the local customs, um, learning how to set up communications in a, in a less than ideal environment. And it required us to go through the campus come up with a brand new uh, way of doing things, which is creating a less than ideal environment to operate, a challenged environment to operate in, that would give the soldiers, the communications battalions, enough to work on while they're there to establish reliable, secure communications. They turn to us because they frequently ask us to go into these environments. And I'll give you another example. Recently, we worked on a program at Camp, Camp Arifjan in Kuwait where we had to build what, what the uh, Army was calling their first international cloud data center. It was a large joint data center that they will use to serve the missions of all of the military in the Middle East region to serve data and applications and communications in general. The environment was challenging, the schedule was challenging, uh, some of the vendors we worked with were challenging, and meanwhile the mission had to continue the entire time that we were there building this data center. In the end, we delivered the data center ahead of schedule, under budget, and the customer was extremely pleased, and it's something that we're very proud of as a company. So those are two examples of kind of an unorthodox and a more orthodox type engagement that our customers bring to us.